Damn, your shit, that shit is glistening, bro. That mean green? Mm-hmm. See? I was going to get Chanel bubbles because, you know, she's a little. <laughs> Man, I wanted bubbles, honestly. Blue is my favorite color. But pink is my favorite color, too. Pink, blue, and green. Bro, I, I, you wanted pink. As much as you, y'all was in love with them pink phones. Yeah, nah, I definitely wanted pink. Yeah, I still got my <laughs> pink phones. So, shit. <laughs> Alright uh, You remember the memes For them pink folks <laughs> He said what <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the memes bro the, For the phones With the pink phones Nah Was it crazy <sighs> They were crazy Cause remember it was they, it, Cause that people was like I just feel like The people that made the memes Were the people that like Didn't get them Oh okay So it was like All about being hella gay Oh swear to god Oh like niggas is Paul, just, You don't see these niggas Walking through the mall Look I'm wearing my pink phones With my guys Oh wow If that's I not one of the most of Cleanest me. phone posits Them things look like Actual bubble gum nigga. They look like you were Stepping on candy What? That's crazy The hay was real I got two pair That's crazy I got my first pair of stole Out the car With my um My three bear SBs one of the worst days of my life. Bro, I know the pain, bro. Somebody stole my fucking turtle doves. Ooh. No, my bad. Not the turtle doves. Oh, I'm going to say that during week check. Uh, something about turtle doves. They stole my pirate blacks. Oh, damn. The, Ye- the Yeezys. The Yeezys. I got... It was- hold on. Hold on. Crazy part about stole them, stole Chanel, flu games. They both was brand new with receipts in the box, bro. They took, tried to take them back to finish line. The same finish line that Jose and Josh was working. Poppy was there. You lying. No, so the, the Pirate Blacks was worn, but Chanel's wasn't. So they let they let the him return Chanel's shoes, but they was like, I don't think we can return these because they um they're worn. And then by the time Jose Jose had called Josh and was like, but somebody just tried to return some pirate blacks and they returned some flu games. And Josh was like, them stacked shoes, like, where bro at? We need to get his shoes back. Jose was like, bro, left already. Like <sighs> what the fuck? So but Josh bought Chanel's flu games back. So she got her flu games back. Oh, fast. But I never got my pirate blacks. That's back. crazy. Um, we all worked at that finish line for a minute. That was probably right before I got there then. That's, that's, yeah, that's when they had to put. I got my pirate blacks from Josh because yeah, had, I remember they, they was doing, doing yeah, yeah tickets, exactly, bro. exactly. I was so fucking mad. I'm still that's hurt really, about that. That's crazy. We I was, know that pain, um, though, bro. We was fresh from Vegas, and I was just hella tired, and I had you know the we had drove, and now I got back. I got most of the stuff out the car, but I had one bag left. But it wasn't really tripping like that. Next morning, window busted open. I'm like, damn, what did I leave in there? The three bears, the mama bears, SBs, and the pink phones. Uh, was, I had the three bears probably for like five years at that time. I had them, and they was still pristine. Had the, just perfect, bro. And then, like I said, the the pink phones is just that was a, that was my shit. <laughs> but uh, Lisa ended up buying me uh, the pink phones again, but. They only had them available in a nine, and I got them in a nine and a half. The half size matters when it comes to the phones, bro. Even if I took the sole out, it's still like, <sighs> yeah. So if I if I ever break them out, it's because we at like a a chill ass event. You're not doing like no that. walking, no walking. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Real Talk, the realest podcast. Uh, as you can see, we too deep. My man Al Banga is on a vacation, a late birthday gift. He out there in Cuba getting it in. But we here, man. You know, we Passport got boys. <laughs> For real. <laughs> it's about time my man got this shit, too, man. He was taking a minute. But proud of you, dude. Get it in out there in Cuba, man. But if you are here, you are a part of the squadron. And, you know, do us a favor, leave a comment, 
or email in so you can be a part of the, uh, the conversation or, you know, give us suggestions on different topics. But yeah, man, my man Stony Starks is returning. You feel me? Iron Man himself, Stax. The show, Slight Clap. And you got me, Bryce Wayne, him Skywalker. As always, back at it again. It's been a crazy week. It's been a crazy you week. Get, you get your clap week. too, bro. For sure. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, clap, you man. Bro. Appreciate that. But yeah, dude. Uh, crazy week. It's been kind of rough for me. Uh, work been killing me, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm I'm about done with that place. <laughs> I've been at that hospital for like seven years. And I am just, I don't know, man. I, I'll say this. My eyes is open for other opportunities. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? I've been looking around. You know what I mean? Like, I need, I need a little breather or a break or something. But um, on top of that, what else I had going on? Um, as you can see, the table is filled with uh, some things you might have seen pop up on the internet lately. You know what I mean? We're going to talk about that in a little minute, but that's definitely a part of Week Check because we won some raffles. <laughs> 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 but um, other than that, though, uh, just trying to keep up. With this Jonathan Majors trial, which we'll talk about a little later as well. Last week wasn't too much going on, so we decided to skip a week and bring the pod back today. But yeah, man, as as for me, nothing much, man. What about you, Sex? Uh, work been killing me too, but it's just been tiring, bro. I'm on an 11-day run right now. Ooh. They've been letting us come in on our off days, so... Oh, I'm on in. an 11 day stretch, bro. Yeah, Damn, after that's good as fuck. If they let us work OT on Sunday, it'll be about like 50 hours OT on one check. Damn. So yeah, I'll let you know too when they open up hiring, so you can. Hey man, you get your so band you up in there. <laughs> <laughs> All them extra hours, so man. Share can, them hours, man. You know what I mean? So you can slide up in there. But yeah, bro, I just been tired, bro. I ain't literally ain't been doing nothing, bro. Just been going to work, coming home. And crashing like, and I got this man Ale doing this pod, man. You a, you a real one. Let me get, let me get come on. You a real one, dude. My nah, bad, it's man. all good. Like, bro, like work be work is pretty cool, bro. Like, I I'll take my little naps here and there. Okay, that's what's up. So yeah, it's cool. But um, yeah, like he said, we hit a few raffles. Um, we got some new stuff. We got some stuff that came out that we never talked about. But what and else? This is just I'm gonna go ahead and say this part one. Cause we got a part two next week or some shit that we got to talk about as well. We'll be, if you haven't noticed, <laughs> we are kind of serious when it comes to the shoes. You know what I mean? Like the shoe game has been a part of our lives since we could remember. And yeah. it's just been, you know, it's crazy going over, going through the years and seeing it evolve, de evolve, you know, it's go through its ups and downs and we still in it. You know what I mean? Uh, we know when heat is dropping, we know when something is serious, when it comes to stuff that we got to get 10 times out of 10, we getting it. <laughs> we going we going to make that happen. But, um, yeah, we might as well get into it. Um, my man's hit me. Uh, what was that? That on Monday? Or Sunday? Nah, it was like Tuesday. Was it? What's today? Today's Thursday. Yeah, I think it was like... Oh, so that... Yeah, you sure was that like, wasn't Monday? It might have been, but my day's been running together. <laughs> it was Monday or Tuesday. I think it was Monday. My man's hit me, and it was uh, we got a 5 and 0 skateboard shop out here. Shout out 5 and 0s in Berkeley. Um, but they were doing the raffles for the... Um, Powerpuff Girl SBs And he was on the way there Hit me up I was at the house You know In dad mode <laughs> And I'm like Hold on What you mean he, he, you was, Basically you can You can raffle for all three Or whatever One for each And I stopped everything I was doing I was like Let me go ahead And hop up <laughs> over there You know what I mean I just wish we could have collabed Because if we would have met up we probably could have got multiple entries. Oh, it would have been bad. Because <laughs> we would have put on disguises. <laughs> we would have went that hard. But uh, he had places to be, and I couldn't be out there that long either. But, um, yeah, as you can see, my man Stax ends up hitting for the buttercups, and I got blessed, and I got hit with the bubbles. I mean, the blossoms. I actually wanted blossom or bubbles, but I'm happy with, uh, with blossom because, you know, I fuck with pink. Shout out Cam. 
And yeah, man, uh, I am actually very pleased. And I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have them if it wasn't for my man put me on. I appreciate you, man. Slight clap, man. Slight clap. He came through. <laughs> he came Y'all through. Y'all see how I tell him ahead of time, <laughs> and he always telling me after. I either tell you the day of or I forget. That's it. It be like that. You this know, man, I, I, be this ha- man I be having would, to juggle a lot. This man would just send me a picture like, oh. <laughs> Look what I cop. I'm like, nigga, when did they first off? When did they drop? Where was the link sent out? Like, oh my oh, god, you know, uh, nah, yeah, but you already know it's good. But, but that's why I brought these because I actually got both of them from five one zero, bro. And I, I did not get a chance. So you know, these are the Gundams. Uh, you got the black and the white. Very, very classics, man. Instant classics. Very nostalgia. Come on, man. With the removable swoosh, you can't go wrong with that, dude. Ah, man. And the SBs are like, when it comes to me in shoes, SBs are really, between the Jordans and SBs, those are the ones that really got me in there. Like, SBs would do some crazy collabs. Like, you had the, the Jedis. You had um, the MF Dooms. I'll probably try to bring those out next week. But, man... Is when I say it can it can get crazy when they come to these collabs with the SBs, man. Nothing is nothing is uh is off the fence. If they even got the Simpson SBs, they just dropped some Bar Simpsons. What was that last year? I think. Yeah, nah, that was that was that was this year. Oh, the, okay. Like the Bar towards was, the towards the beginning. Okay, of this okay, year, okay. Yeah. okay. Um, and they were supposed to drop the Homers, but never came out. Or they did, and they named them something else. Okay, I know that because the Marge Simpsons been out for a minute. They, okay. Those the high tops. They've been out for like at least a few years now. Um, I wanted those hella much. Like the when it comes to high top SBs, I I really I really fuck with it tough, and especially when they got the uh, every now and then it's rare, but they'll do some high top SBs with the fat tongue because they usually got the the slim the tongue. tongue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I but, got um, some. Uh, I got some high tops. I'm gonna bring out for our 420 special. For sure. I mean, it's probably gonna be mainly me because you know I'm. <laughs> you feel me But yeah. I got I got some SBs Just for that Okay day. okay okay I see you Hey I can't I can't be mad at it you know, Somebody gotta hold it down You know what I mean Yeah man And next week Will be the Christmas special Like I said I got some I got some Christmas joints I wanna I wanna break out I don't know if I'm gonna wear them Or I'm gonna display them But we'll see We got some heat coming But also the uh, The Addy Foams The Simpsons collab With Adidas I've always wanted A pair of these but I've been like kind of holding back because they weren't like they they kept becoming available. They'll sell out to come back out, sell out and come back out. So I wasn't in such a rush. But when they dropped these joints, I was like, ooh. Then Stacks ended up sending them to me. I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and pull that trigger. They were actually sold out. And so I was like, oh, fuck. And it was like maybe like the first few days, it, was, it kept saying sold out, sold out. And then I guess one random moment, Lisa hopped online. It was like, they got nine and a half. Just one. One left. Mike, get that. Grab that for me. Finally got blessed. Tried them on. Pretty comfortable. I didn't think they were going to be that sturdy, like, trying to put them on. I thought it was going to be more of, like, of a, you know, easy put on. But you got to kind of got to wiggle yourself in there. there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it was a little but Once you got them on, they real comfortable. And they... They pretty fresh, man. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I like shoes. I like collaboration shoes, and I like shoes that stand out. Hence the, you know, the pink with the uh, Blossom SBs. Well, all the um, the Power Puff Girls SBs stand out like very much. Like the candy coated paint on the green Buttercups is insane. But like, did you know somebody tried to say like when they first were showing these shoes? When they first were showing them, was like, "What grown ass man gonna be wearing these bright ass shoes?" Me, me. Me, that I'm me. not me, and I'm gonna show y'all how to watch. When you go. so when people say that they either aren't able to get them, they know they're not gonna get them, or they or have they no that, style. I was just about to say <laughs> number three, they can't dress, bro. They don't know how to put shit together. Like I'm a Powerpuff Girl fan, as you can see, I got the got the whole enemies on my shirt or my hoodie. The Roddy Rough Boys is my favorite. It's like the the boy versions of the Powerpuff Girls. Only only real Powerpuff uh, fans would know about this. But come on, man! Once I found out they were doing an SB collaboration, I was like, I ah, damn near yeah. This is one of those moments I I gotta have it moments. And uh, like I said, it's based in nostalgia. Uh, the original Powerpuff Girls 
was heat. I don't know if you've been seeing those memes go around. And they got the Powerpuff Girls versus different people. <laughs> they winning every time. <laughs> it's so crazy. They beating Superman. They beating uh, my man Homelander. They just putting them up against so many people. But yeah, man, definitely fuck with the Powerpuff Girls. And last but not least, the uh, Jerry Lorenzo, Fear of God, Adidas Athletics have dropped. A lot of controversy behind this shoe. Um, I'm a huge Fear of God fan when it comes to the shoes. I also have his pair of Nikes that came out. Pretty much the same colorway as this one. Um, Just real good quality when it comes to the shoes. And the packaging, oh my God. Chef Kiss, man. It's, it's, It's incredible. He goes all out. So when you open it in the box, it's literally like opening a present for yourself every single time. And when you love shoes, when you in the game like that, every little bit counts, bro. So I actually love the boxes, too. So if you can have a dope box to go along with the dope shoe, you really got a, a buyer in me. Like, even with the um, the Simpsons uh, Addy phones, like, I love the box. It's just the TV. Like, come on. Like, that's fire. You know what I mean? I wish they could have went a little bit harder with the SBs for the Powerpuff Girls. But, hey, the shoe is... Has enough detail. Yeah, they should have did the box like they did the tissue paper. Yeah, the tissue paper is insane. Might as well. Let me see. But they should have, like, if they could have, like, printed that on the box, bro, that would have went crazy. Or, like, how the insole is. Like, you know what I mean? How it got Mojo Jojo and the Pal Bam or whatever on there. Like, if you can see, it got all the, it got the Powerpuff Girls on there. Yeah. It's the little things that count, you know what I mean? But they... They make up for it with the material. The material is, in, is like, super dope. And they, you know, took their time with it. And you got the big eyeball on the back. I'll definitely try to get some close-ups for you guys uh, for, of all the shoes. But um, the main thing I really want to talk about when it comes to the shoe game is uh, how it's changed so much from the first come, first serve and you being a part of the community, knowing when something's about to drop, building these relationships with different shoe stores and, you know, having those connections. Some of that is still there, but more it's than half of it is. Now. Say it again. I would say the connections is there, but it's money based. And that's unfortunate because um, that was the whole point of having the connection. Like you, you frequent this store so much, you build relationships. You know what I'm saying? They know that you're serious about it. You know what I mean? And so they, you know, like they hit you up. Like you know, hey, we about to drop these. I know you're gonna probably want them, so just make sure you be here at this time. Yeah. I got you. You know what I mean? You don't gotta worry about it. I'll put your shoe to the side. Just pull up and come cop. Not only are they making their money with the inventory, but you know they they keeping the it's good on both ends. You always got a buyer, and you always can for the buyer. You always gonna have your pair of shoes, and over time, that just got saturated uh, so badly. I think the worst I've seen, and this I, I hate this so much, is when you gotta pay five dollars for a raffle entry. That shit is you ain't seen that yet. Some places charge you five dollars just to put in the raffle. Where? As I've seen it on I've actually did it before It was a place called I think it was Atlas uh, It's a skate shop That did that And um, The true store Across On Lakeshore They charge Five dollars for a raffle Depending on what raffles I was about to say I just went to true And I did the uh, The reverse Grinch Kobe's They didn't charge They didn't mm-hmm. So I guess my boy Went up there You know Roland Oh you know No I take that back I know So uh, Social status for surely charged me Well not them The little raffle EQL Whatever yeah, that yeah. shit Yeah I mean it's all under the yeah, same they, thing they, yeah. they charged me Like five or Six bucks When I got the um, I'm about to probably butcher this But the Amamira Amamir Amamir uh, Fives Oh you got them? Yeah, I should have brought my. I should have brought. I got. I got the um the airship Amamir airships. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I got the fives. The the, the Don. Okay, that's the dark ones. The nah, dark. Oh, that's oh the, the that's the light one. Oh, okay, fast. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Um, that's crazy though. Charging. Uh, they just did, to so enter the raffle. 
yeah, so I got mine from Alma Amir, but I don't think I did the raffle and I won it, but they didn't charge me. So it's crazy because I guess sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't. And when my boy went, I guess it's like, and they, and True didn't do it through that. That that was in store. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. And so I guess Roland was like, where's this money going? <laughs> and Brennan have an answer for him. He was like, so I guess they kind of pocketing it. The, uh, that's that's what I'm saying. If if they would have if they would have told me <laughs> that'd be five dollars, I'd have been like, it's cool. I don't want to enter. And y'all just lost a customer because that's what happened to him. He didn't he didn't do it. He didn't walk out. A couple of shoes in there. I need to go get for some presents. Okay, stuff. but if they would have told me that, I'd have been like, yeah, I was I was I was I mean, it's it's for sure like at least three four pair of shoes in there. I need to get that's in crazy. one walk. So if they would have told me that, I'd have been like, yeah, y'all just lost a customer, a good customer, because I was about to cash out. Yeah, that's that, that's, that's lit- wild. That's literally the worst I've seen it. Uh, charging Can for a math, raffle. Bro, think about it, bro. How many? So you got three raffle tickets at five one zero. How many? Three tickets times how many people you think entered that raffle? Bro, bro, the box was full. Now imagine if they charge five dollars each. Ticket. That's what I'm saying. And so that, I mean, I'm each, telling each, you, each person entry would have been fifteen bucks. Yep. If you just times it by 100 people, that's 150 right there. Dude. Uh, it was triple that. It was more than that. I can't imagine how many people entered that shit. Because like you said, people was bringing their mama, their kids. Exactly. Like, it was uh, It was crazy. We should have got some. We should have got. That's why I said we should have linked. We could have filmed us doing that. Yeah, I'm but almost I'm sure I'm we would have got maybe, maybe because we didn't. Maybe that's why we hit. Maybe our tickets was supposed to be. Where they were supposed to be Yeah no nah, facts Cause I definitely thought about that too Cause I was wondering I'm like is these Cause bro right there watching You know what I mean He's seeing everything go down He see the people that come together And so I don't know if he can remember Like okay I'm not gonna pick that one for that You know what I'm saying Not like that but like Yeah he's Like if they gonna win They get, they only win it once Even though they got the majority of it Cause Come on now I'm pretty sure It was like so One person had like six entries bro but like no no nine entries because yeah that's crazy like you got three chances for each pair you only got like you know what I mean I wish I, I wish I would have knew I wish I could know but you know what I mean that's when why I, I'm wonder I'm wondering bro if like if our tickets was just still on top or we got picked for that size and they like you know what I'm saying because they, they for surely picked by the size yeah yeah like you know what I'm saying pull a ticket all right cool that's for this size pull a ticket cool that's for this size yeah and we went pretty late in the day like we for surely was within the last fifty to a hundred entries yeah for sure it, so I, I wouldn't even damn near say that many because it like I said the box was fucking full that's what I'm saying so I mean well hey thank you once again I always tell 510 thank you cause they come I've through. hit so many bro I've hit I got my Travis SB's from 510 bro bro my I, Ray Guns like I walked in and got the MF Dunes they are on the shelf bro I cannot tell you that I almost cried that day and I walked into 510 and saw the MF Dunes on the shelf like y- y'all got these in the nine and a half yeah I'm like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> bro, like I think it was the the last and only quick strike they ever did, and it was literally happenstance. Like I just happened to me and Josh just happened to walk in that day. It was like the light was shining on them, bro. It was crazy, and I ended up calling Shway. Shway left school to come get him. Hey, you see, hey, you see, he ain't say he called me. You see, y'all see that? You see, he ain't called me though. Stacks, what was going on at that time, bro? I had no idea, but nah, nah, <laughs> still though, <laughs> bro. It's funny you say that because the dunks I'm gonna bring for 420, bro. Like that's how I felt about those, bro. It, I don't know if you remember that store on uh, store Pure. It was like uh, downtown on like yeah, yeah, oh yeah, like right in the middle of one of them streets. It yeah. was like uh, no, uh, that was, was the 17th. At the end, it's like 17th and like one of them. My, I had a boy that worked there. So, yeah. So, bro, I went to Pure and shit, bro. Because, like, uh, me and Chanel was looking for something to wear. We was going somewhere. And we walked in there. And I'm looking around. I see some shoes. And I'm like, I know. trying to play it cool. Because I'm like, you know, I walk up to him. I see the price tag. I'm like, 125. I'm like, Whew. 
I'm like, I don't think they know what these is. I'm like, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm like, yeah, let me just go ahead and buy these. The bottom. I'm like, do y'all know what these is? And dude was like, he 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 said the name of them. Like, or he was like, nah, not really. I told him what these was. He was like, oh, for real? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, thank you. And I just cut. They, like, Pure was just a, it was like an official store. It wasn't a consignment store. So if they got something, they wasn't going. Well, I guess, I think originally those dunks retailed for like. Yeah, I think that 120. Was it 120? The most is probably like 140. The tag is on the box. Yeah. All I know is I couldn't believe that. They had already been out. They had been yeah. out for a couple years already. But pure was tucked, bro. Watch when, bro. Pure what was they're tucked. going for now is ridiculous. Yeah, it's crazy for sure. Facts, and that's how like you are. So it's literally the same thing. Like I, they knew what it was, but they wasn't. Instagram wasn't Instagram. You know what I'm saying? No, it no, was, no, no. So that they, was the only pair they had. Oh, okay. Like that, my it happened to be my size, and it oh, was the wow. only pair. Oh. I'm like, y'all got more of these. He was like, no, that's it. And I was like, dang, because I'm oh, really 11 and a half. So, but lucky. I got an 11. Okay. And I'm like. SBs, is, they, 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 oh, they adjustable. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they adjustable. adjustables. But I couldn't, but like like you said, bro, it's like, you'll that'll never happen again. You'll never walk into a shoe store like that and just see a grail just sitting there. No. Because everybody is buying everything out. The shoes, the people that work at the shoe stores now, somebody mom work at. Whatever store, or uncle or cousin, or whatever. Oh, when this come in, y'all just let me know. We pulling up, we buying them all. Like trying to get, trying to get lucky and get something at Nike at the Nike outlet is like you'll never. It's not gonna happen no more. Yeah, like nah. you used to be able to go in there. Like I got some. I remember I got the uh, the pearl phone posits from there, but retail. Well, no, they were cheaper than retail because they were at the outlet. Yeah, and it was the only. They were up. We just so happened to get that. Check stand And we went up there And my grandma was like These some funny looking shoes And I was like Wait 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 Let me see them <laughs> So no it's crazy People re- You can return Any shoe From Nike There You know matter You can get them from sneakers Well obviously sneakers now But yeah. Wherever you get them from Foot Locker You can go to the Nike outlet And return them And so I think that's what happened With Darnell He went there Went to the register Space Jams Right there, somebody returned some Space Jams. Like I take those, like <laughs> bruh, Space Jam Easy. Jordan Elevens, bruh, for <laughs> for just slightly lower than retail. But that's how I got my Wolf Grey Fives, bruh. Went into was it Shoe Palace? Like when they first like one. This was like back when they first opened. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, we just in the mall, bruh. I'm walking around like, I'm like, hey, y'all got these in the uh, eleven and a half. They like, yeah, we got a few sizes. I'm like, Wolf Grey Fives. I'm like, let me let me get them. Like, but Man. now never happened again, bro. Me personally, like, what I think Nike and these other shoe companies need to do is the same way they. I hate to say it, and people are probably gonna get on me for this, but the same way they did the Pandas, they need to saturate the market. Fuck it. Cause that mom was like, well, why not? Like you get all the money, you know the shoe is gonna sell. You know it is. People, bro, there. How many? How many pandas is sitting? Maybe mm. a handful. Yeah, but they're all bought. They, and they, they just kept. No, they, they just people still buying them. Exactly. Exactly. So, so you don't think? So you trying to tell me if they wouldn't have flooded the market with these Powerpuff Girls, everybody wouldn't have kept buying them? So the thing is, Come on, and bruh. this is unfortunate. It's because it's, it's true, but it's so unfortunate. But when it comes to limited and like special drops, it's the fact that they're so limited that that's why consignment stores are able to be so successful because they can upcharge for the for the the <laughs> for it being limited pair. You know what I mean? But at the same time. Okay, let me ask you a question then. So what happened? What what do you think the excuses was them consignment people and consignment stores were saying to people that paid resale for pandas that got dropped for retail once a month or once a week after that? 
I don't know. Because you know I'm coming back. Hey, I need a... Can I return? I can return these to you because I bought them for retail over here. And you not you can't though. That's that's another thing. Yeah. You out. Once you pay that, that's it. Yeah. There's no at the consignment store, yeah, it's bad. But if I buy it from Nike or I buy it from Adidas, at the at the least I can get store credit. And so, I can get something else. I'll say this, because I feel what you're saying with saturate the market. But at well, the I same mean, time, I'm not gonna say saturated, but make enough to where it's like you know what I'm saying? Or don't... But see, that I feel like it should be a catch-22. Don't keep... Say it's limited. Nigga, you can say it's limited and still flood the market. Say it's limited and release it through the app. Let everybody hit. We about to see that with the Grinches because I heard they, like, tripled the amount. Well, of, I hope not, nigga, because I entered so many damn raffles and I do not need to see, see my account going... Uh, bling, 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 bling. Exactly. So that's another point, like... It's like if you saying a, that it, I'm about to go take myself out of a couple raffles. No, it, that's a fact. Um, what's Kobe's wife's name? Vanessa. She made she made sure that it was at least double to triple the amount of the Grinches, so it'd be a better chance. And I think what Josh told me as far as that true store, the only reason they they stopped doing the first come first serve because they had to split their inventory with the Oakland store and, and the, the San Francisco, Francisco store. store. Yeah. Because uh, that would have been the only store that would have did the first come first serve, which would have made sense because no, they I got. I think um, Nice Kicks is doing first come first where's, serve. Oh, that's. Where's Nice Kicks? No, or some store in San Rafael, my bad. Are doing, doing first it. come first serve? All right, I can't be mad at that. But I, I think I only did. I did regular raffles for the Grinches, but I did do one. Where it's like If you win we are just gonna take the money And just send it to you I'm like alright Fuck it But damn near I usually majority of the raffles I did are like that I, I usually hit on those though I ain't gonna lie And when I, once I heard that It wasn't gonna be as limited As we thought I'm like oh fuck I'm gonna fuck around And hit then So I, are you telling me I need to go take myself Out of some raffles Well Well After tonight I'll send you What I saw as far as like how many, how it's not going to be as limited as we think. Because I've seen like at least three or four posts saying that it's not from legitimate places. Like I said, Vanessa Bryant herself. Um, but yeah, dude, like you said, it's never going to be like that. You can just walk into the store and it's limited. I, I still fuck with the limited because that separates, you know what I'm saying? We... We fly, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go, we're going to do what we got to do to get certain things, you know what I'm saying? It, it's it's about the adventure at the end of the day, too. Like, you don't want to see, like, somebody catting off or a J-cat, no offense, with the SBs, bro, and this catting off in them, bro. Like, you you had the, you had the function, and he got them on, too, and he over here but choked them out. But you see, know what bro, I mean? that, that happens, though, bro. But, like, how, how I was just talking, I was telling one of my coworkers this, bro, like, it's inevitable for you to go somewhere, depending on the shoe, it's inevitable for you to go somewhere and somebody don't have that shoe. But how I look at that is they can't dress like me, bro. But it's still rare, though. It's been a few so times. Like, that's, that's definitely rare. So Stacks, you're like, telling me everywhere you go, you see somebody with your shoes? A big possibility. No, it's a possibility. Definitely. But do you I have that in my I have it in my you head. You can't count us. You cannot count us, Bro, that's obviously. because we literally will text each other, hey, what shoes y'all <laughs> What shoes y'all wearing, bro? If we know we all going to be in the same facility, <sighs> hey, y'all... Um, what kicks y'all gonna have on today, bro? We do that on purpose. It's very rare you catch all of us wearing the same kicks. It's not bro. gonna happen. That's see, that's what I'm saying. But it's like, bro, I've definitely been somewhere, bro. Like, especially like I got like right now the bread fours I got on. Yes, this is a very common shoe. I am it's a seventy percent chance I go somewhere and somebody has these on. But like I'm saying though, with the Gundams. That's not happening. That's different, bro. What you exactly? That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Depending on the shoe. Exactly. But That's I'm not why. wearing the Gundams to a function, though. Like, why not? You wild? Oh, so wow. The <laughs> Powerpuff <laughs> Girls is different. Like That's that green. Crazy. I can freak that green with a way lot hot bro, more. You can freak the Gundams any way, any which way. See the way I look at it. It's like niggas is like motherfuckers is not 
fucking with me when it comes to this shoe shit. You know what I'm saying? And I like shoes that make people ask questions. I want you to say something to me because of my shoes. That happens all the time. Either with a nice jacket or the shoes, bro. Something, somebody gonna say something, bro. I went to, uh, we had, where we go, uh, we had went somewhere the other day. I mean, I'm not even tripping. I'm chilling. I got um, those. I forgot the artist's name. I'm just catting off. But it's a Korean artist that did some uh, some forces or whatever. Uh, they they were pretty exclusive. I had them on. Wasn't tripping. The lady looked over the counter. It was like, those are some crazy. Over everybody. Like, those are some crazy Air Force Ones. I would wear Air Force Ones like that. You know what I'm saying? Just to get the acknowledgement. But... It's very rare You know what I mean People just not gonna have this shoe People just not gonna have the Gundam They're not gonna just stunt with the Gundams bro. If they got them It's probably it's Possibly a lot of You know anime fans But at the end of the day A regular person not gonna know Unless you really into the shoes like that You can stunt Easily with the Gundams, bro. I would I definitely would have broken my. I did not out. say you cannot. Stunt no, you with can, the but Gundams. you know, it can be any event, though. It can be any nah, event. Ah, bro. I feel like there's a. I feel like there is a place and occasion for every shoe, bro. Like, I see, like I you treat just every place and every occasion the same. But I feel you though, because if I was to go to if I was to go to Comic Con, I would be more prone. You're not wearing the Fear of Gods. You're gonna put on the Powerpuff Girls or the Gundams. Or yeah, right. okay. You're not yeah. putting no, on the no, Fear of yeah, Gods. No, no, that's true. That's, that's what true. I'm saying. That's, that's true. That's my whole thing. Like, don't get me wrong. You can wear the Fear. But I go. I go to more functions than I go to Comic Cons. You know what I mean? So Comic Con. When, when the last When the last time you went out? I to the. Bo- <laughs> Top golf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was That's like, not going out. That no, was. No. I'm talking about like going to Sundays or something. Like, I don't, come on, that's man. what I'm saying. Going. That's what I mean by going out. You're not wearing them going out. You're gonna you're gonna wear one of your belts, one of your stolen arts belts for surely. Yeah. You can wear that when you go. That's what I'm I saying. I don't go out like that, but right? I, but I that's really. what I'm saying. We going to Top Golf. You damn right. I'm a freak. One of them pair of shoes. Okay. You, you yes. All right. So I'm you're talking, talking about, about like stepping out. That's what I'm saying, bro. Stepping out, I can freak them Powerpuff Girls way easier than I can freak these Gundams going out. Because mm, I can I easily, give you that. I can easily go to Zara or somewhere or J Crew and find me the same green, either a short sleeve button up or a long sleeve button up, and I just have on some casual black. You you didn't you in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, you know, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of you know what I mean. That's why I said if that's that's what I do like about the fear of gods because it's more of an athletic shoot and you can dress that up. Yeah, if you put on some cool jeans and a polo with that, bro, that's that's business casual. Bro. I would definitely probably pick the um when you, when you're stepping out like that to like, I got you. All right, that's all I'm saying. But yes, I did, we if we going out to kick you, we wearing what you already know. Yes, them Gundams is getting. Laced up easily. When I'm I talking went about to like you know the Batman live in concert, I wore those uh Infinity Adidas, the ones that came, the Iversons with the zip downs. Nah, those are Kobe's, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kobe, I'm bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My fault. My fault, Kobe. <laughs> R.I.P. But uh, yeah, man, it's it's just it just depending on how you feeling. But it's it's definitely possible. But I, I get what you're saying though. But. All in all, when it comes to the shoes, man, um, we've been doing this for. We just gonna say that we got we got shoes older than some of y'all kids. Oh man, and we, I'm for talking sure. about y'all that got kids ten and fifteen years old. Like we wait. got we got some heat that go back. Like wait to part two next week. And we'll we'll bring out some some OG heat. We'll bring out some some year, some shoes that got some years on y'all. Um, but yeah, times have changed. Obviously, it's no more. The first come first serve days are over. The I know a guy is pretty much over because you're still gonna be paying the it's high backdoor city, baby man. And it's we we are in the age of raffle tickets, and it's it's crazy because the chances are very very slim. But every yeah, now and you, then, because if you know the right person, they gonna save your raffle ticket or. You know what I'm saying? Or you gonna text them your number and they gonna you be like, hey, this is my number on the raffle ticket. And they gonna write your shit down on that list. That can still happen. And they yeah. gonna slide you. So that's why we I'm all like, we we've worked at shoe stores before, so we know how uh, it can it can get when it comes to you know letting your boys get in there first. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not I'm not hating. Like I said, I've never 
I've never been the one to knock a hustle. Or, yeah, you facts. know what I'm saying. I just as long as it's genuine, you know what I mean. Yes, yeah, but how I mean how I feel about it is it's like same way when I was doing loss prevention at Target, bro, and like we had to start regulating on Pokemon cards because you got little kids coming in like really wanting to. I re, I remember that feeling, bro, going to the store and like. Oh, I hope I get this pack because I need to get this card to finish mm-hmm. my collection. I got a, I got that one binder spot open for it. Like I mm-hmm. know where it's going, but I remember feeling that, bro. And who, bro? What is that? How, bro? Grown men push. Oh, watch out! Let me. Yeah. Like, bro. Like, that's a, did you just snatch a, a box of Pokemon cards from a kid? Like, bro, you're tripping. Like, yeah. you know what that's I mean? Crazy. So, and I feel that's how I feel about the shoe, bro. Like. When I see like somebody coming in like ten deep, or they letting pe they letting people grab bums off the street, and they just letting them jump in line, I'm like, bro, like <sighs> you clearly you're watching this happen, which means you clearly know these people is only getting this for profit. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here legitly trying to get this shoe for me, my wife, or my daughter. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So like. I, I equated to that And that's why I'm saying Sometimes that shit Pisses me off Cause I'm like I'm not trying to make No money off this I'm about to I'll put these shoes on Right now That's why I give kudos To them stores That be like If you want the shoe You gotta wear them Up out of here That's crazy I was gonna bring or that you up gotta destroy, uh, Or they destroy the boxes the, uh, I respect it It's one store That's doing that right now With the Grinches uh, they, they ripping up the boxes You gotta wear them out And they did that With the Not for resale Jordan 1's But people still managed To end up reselling which is crazy Yeah bro I seen the videos of that People was getting carried out the store On people was getting Getting piggyback rides Out yeah, the store yeah. People was Walking on their they, heels yeah, They didn't get their uh, They didn't get their box destroyed But they had to wear them out And like you said People was getting carried out Or Putting plastic bags Over their shoe And you know what I'm saying Just come and prepare for that But Resellers are insane They kinda Pretty much messed up the game When it comes to you know, getting shoes for the common folk. You know what I mean? I won't even call us common, but the people that's actually going to wear and stun on them. But when you win the game, it's kind of hard to get out because shoes are just beautiful, man. This it's a part of the lifestyle. But uh didn't want to stick on the shoes, but we was going hard on that. Um, <laughs> but I want to... I want to talk about this Jonathan Major situation. Uh, I haven't spoke on it in a while. Those who've been following us for a while know that this is this has been my favorite actor in the recent years. Just phenomenal actor. And I think his trial comes to an end tomorrow. I think the final verdict is tomorrow. But just based off everything that's been released within this last week, I don't know anymore. I was 100% sure that he was going like, to make it out of this. But once they released some text messages... Of him talking to her about You probably shouldn't go to the doctor To get your head checked out Because they're going to start asking questions And it's it's out of context And this, these messages are from like a year ago So it doesn't have nothing to do with, with The recent allegations And the trial is about the recent allegations But just her putting those text messages Out there Which is insinuating that He possibly Hit her and didn't want her to go get checked out And she talking about she can't really sleep She need the pain pills And how she would never say nothing Because she love him And he saying that he'll uh, Unalive himself If things don't go the way they should He will just unalive himself I'm like come on bro And these is actually messages That was read in the trial But they just recently I think today or if not I think yesterday <clears throat> Excuse me Yesterday they released The footage of him In the car And how he's like Trying to Avoid her And run away from her um, He's like Running down the street Trying to get away From this girl And she just like, Hawking him down You know what I mean And But it, it It doesn't look like He's the aggressor In the situation And It seems like From everybody had That had uh, Testified That witnessed it Was pretty much saying That he wasn't The aggressor and he was pretty much the victim. He was the one that called the boys. It's and it's still like you know what I mean it's still up in the air. But just off the simple fact of those messages, I know and knowing his status, I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna ha- what's gonna happen tomorrow. And I'm 
I'm, it might be a wrap for your boy, man. I feel bad, but it is what it is. It, y'all got to get it to get Jonathan Majors, Diddy, somebody else just cut it off recently. It's just, it's just crazy, bro. So was that stuff true? Or was like he was trying to tell her she needed to talk like Coretta Scott King or. You know, I didn't see those messages, <laughs> but I definitely is. Uh, you need to believe in uh, me. I think I think he said something about being Michelle Obama too, but I think I don't know about those ones. I did hear that; that was pretty funny, but that that the shit that they actually showed was definitely damning, because my man was looking mad innocent, dude, and to put yourself in that situation and you were making good now. I don't know if that's going to work out. I don't know. People are saying that he did that so he can get people like more black people on his side, basically. I'm like, oh, I don't say that. Oh, that's weak. <laughs> oh, man. Grace Jabari man. is the, is the, uh, his ex, the uh, chick that was chasing him and putting the allegations out there. But it's footage of her chilling, partying after all the shit went down. And don't look like she was too much in a bad state or whatever. So I don't know. I I just I'm not I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Like I said, I want my man to be innocent. I don't want there to be any victims in a situation. Has he has he said anything to like refute the text messages or it's gonna probably come out in the trial, man. Like I mean tomorrow's the end. I mean, I'm just I'm just saying, like, did did they speak on that, or like, are they even going to use those for this? That, she got she actually her she read those messages out loud on the stand, bro, and they submitted them as evidence. Yes, <laughs> but like I said, that was a year ago in 2022, but it's supposed to be about what's happening in 2023. But I guess the point of that was to be like he definitely is abusive, and this is not the first time. And like I said, but it's out of context because it's not necessarily saying that it's saying that I hit you without saying that I hit you. You know what I'm saying? Like the way if you was to read it and I was to show it to you like, oh, bro, Captain. But since we in this sensitive situation, you try your hardest to be like, what could this, uh, could this mean something else? Like, could this possibly mean something else? So, and then you're talking about unaliving yourself. So do you believe Diddy when he came out and said I, Oh I didn't do that I didn't do none of that Do I believe Diddy <laughs> Do I Do I believe Diddy Hell nah bro I'm, I'm just sorry saying, bro. He, he, Jonathan Majors ain't came out and said He ain't do nothing He ain't came out and said hey I don't know what Them fucking text messages is about He didn't say I don't think he said anything So I don't know exactly what happened as Diddy far as said he ain't do it I, I I'm I'm not 90. saying I believe him. <laughs> I'm not saying I believe Jonathan him. Jonathan Major said he didn't do what she said she she did as far in as in the car in, in the car and injuring okay, her finger. Okay, I believe that. Yeah, I me believe too. that. Uh, me too. I I I hundred percent believe that. Based off all the evidence they showed, the video they showed, I'm a hundred percent on this side. But you know how they say, bro, how some actors is, bro. They can't like they can't break character sometimes, like. It's like it's hard to that Heath Ledger major example. Mm. Well, RP to a goat, but I'm just saying though, like <coughs> Jonathan Majors is that fucking. He is Heath Ledger level talent when it comes to acting. Like, right, he plays every one of his roles. Like nobody could do it like that. Like that. So that's the only reason why I'm wondering if like those that though that plays a part. Like you know what I'm saying. Like. I like I'm in this so much It's like You know what I mean Like Can they differ from reality And acting It's like It's a persona At a certain point And that's the unfortunate part Cause You are 100% right so I'm wondering right. Did he turn up And go Kang And Ah <laughs> Yeah it's, it's it's very possible You know what like, I mean Or was like He like You know Was he you know Practicing for Creed And she walked in like, <laughs> And caught a And caught a hook like, Caught a southpaw <laughs> Um I wouldn't be surprised, bro. At the end of the day, um, these actors, these artists, these inf- whatever you want to call them, they they humans just like us. So they they liable to make mistakes. When you got that much money and you got that just much bro, clout, look at Lit, look, bro. sometimes Lizzo's you can trying to your make head. a comeback, bro. Who Lizzo? 
And you know what's crazy? I ain't heard from her since. But she's shit. trying to make a comeback, bro. She That's was just crazy. She, I think she just dressed up as like the Grinch or something. Okay, I know she. I ain't heard nothing from her, bro. bro. She's trying to make That's a comeback. Crazy. Bro. I you almost think they got her back. That's my. I, mean, I think saying, Lizzo will be back before John the Majors and uh, Diddy. But I think why, Diddy. Though, I think bro? I think Diddy because she, she if, if she basically did some of the same stuff that Diddy did, bro. She it's on that. It's on that level. I ain't saying that, bro. What Diddy making people? Gay- I mean, I'm sorry. Pe- <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna get bleeped. Yeah, making uh, people show you or like what was it bananas or something it was something weird like that like yeah wasn't but in my so if so look do this or you can't work for me that's di- look, no, no no that is not di- that is the for- same no way that's forcing no that's but forcing bro i'm gonna tell you the difference you know how let me tell you the difference. minded some people are bro but let me tell you the difference the difference, the difference is those people actually had a chance to say no and get fired. Cassie, this other girl who came out, the seventeen year old, so, were physically wait, wait, I'm not done. Physically forced by a man. <laughs> that means there is no no. There is no no. So okay, I have a question because how I heard that happened was Cassie had to have relations. With males and Diddy would record it. That's true. Right? That's what I heard. That's what I heard. So you heard he that was holding her down and recording at the same time. No, You're trying I, I'm to talking. Tell me, I'm, talking on, wait, I'm talking about the time when he busted in the bathroom and forced himself on her. Oh, okay, okay. I thought yeah. you were talking because I'm thinking no, in my I'm head. I'm pretty sure. I'm thinking in my head. I don't care who somebody is. If they be like, hey. You're going to sleep with these women and I'm going to record it. If I don't want to do it, I'm not doing it. I'm going to kick, scream, bite, piss. I don't give a, I don't, I guarantee you I'm not going to do it. You just said, you you kind of answered your own question. Some people are more weak minded. And mind you, that's I don't my think, point. No, I don't think. So we, we're forgetting the fact that she was saying that she might have been under the influence of different drugs and stuff. Okay, and that's different. Did, no, wait, no. Listen, I and give. I, I'm. I retract my. St- I'm retracting. Diddy's this. own security guard came out and said that at different parties. The but security, he's no longer his security guard. I'm just gonna, so say, I'm gonna say what he said. I know it, what you. I know what you're But I'm just wondering, like saying that you can't drink this alcohol because this alcohol got the pills in it. But drink this alcohol over here because it's good. This one's for the females. Let the females drink the ones with the pills in it. So, given I know regular hood dudes that used to do that. So, I'm not past, I wouldn't put it past celebrities doing that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if you, after the first time, hey, y'all know what? Run me to the stove. (laughs) I'm going to go get my own alcohol. So I think at that me? point I, it could be like no, a bro, like, uh, it could be a bribery thing though too, Stacks. If somebody got you on camera while you under the influence, like you gonna come back and do this again, or I'm putting this out. So like I said, you're not as weak minded as the next person, but a person that's that weak minded, damn, bro, <laughs> they are in the bind. A, <laughs> hey, you see you see what it did for Kim K? Drop it. I would have looked. I would have looked <laughs> dead in his eyes and would have been like, "Drop it! <laughs> I will push sin." You are for hilarious! You. Oh my it. gosh! What? No nah, facts. That's Shh. the only way out of it, bro. I mean, why? Why? Why is Why is Kim K famous? No, you're right. You're 100 percent right. I know, what I'm is not she arguing. famous? What? I'm not, I'm not arguing with you over that sex tape. It is. What oh, it is. Okay. But I'm saying And Cassie every, looks way better than Kim K All I'm saying is People Pride Ooh, comes uh, in to You play You know you got family everybody members Everybody has sex bro Everybody has sex bro Hey she needed you on a counseling then <laughs> 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 Because she wasn't going out I'm not, I, But I'm, I'm not, not even saying that's not exactly what happened I'm just saying bro, this, These are reasons why people go back I'm not discrediting like If he I'm, I agree with you I'm 90% sure he did all that shit he is he is a hundred percent wrong for that. <laughs> We're just saying in hindsight, I'm just wondering how people keep going through these situations. Like 
It's what all, is it called all, when you get when you get attracted to your um, kidnapper? Is it Stockholm syndrome? I think so. That's a real thing. That's an actual. I believe actual, that. That's a real term. But then, how come when we like? It's like when you see all these people finally escape. Like they look so happy that they escaped. Like, um, like that's a good point because the R. Kelly thing when during the shit that was going on, all the girls that he had was saying he's not like that. But as soon as he got put in those cuffs, <laughs> <laughs> they was gassing like, "Oh my god, he was the worst!" Oh my, so it could be like I said, a facade. You know what I mean? Um, them trying to protect somebody they shouldn't be protecting. The money uh, she was getting cashed out, and so I, I have a question about that. So, do you think that, and it's probably a big possibility, that a lot of these women. Well, not a lot. I mean, I'm sorry. That some of the women, maybe none, they feel some kind of like spite or vengefulness because things didn't work out or they thought they were something more than just a good time. So now they're like, oh, yeah, it was, it was, you know, I was sexually assaulted. Like, I'm, I wonder, like, cause it's like, bro, at the end of the day, like, you're you know you're going up to that like the whole thing with Deshaun Watson. Bro, you are booty naked getting a massage. Everybody knows what the code is if you ask a dude to give you a massage and you ain't got no clothes on. Mm-hmm. What's about to happen? Yeah. You gonna get a you gonna get your shoulders rubbed for like a good 30 seconds to mm-hmm. a minute. Mm-hmm. And that's it. So you trying to tell me. You had no idea what was gonna happen. I, that's what I'm saying. They bro. had no idea they were gonna get caught. Who was gonna get caught? Person. Nah, bro. I, bro, I, I have, bro. These some, not all of them. Some of these women, like, bro, come on now. You're coming up to my hotel room. You're coming into my room. Like, what are we about to do? What is in your intention? What what intentions do you have? Because we already know what you done did to half these security guards and all this other stuff to even get back here close enough to me. So this is like, going to be unfortunate. On, like, this is tr- I, I believe this is true, but if, I'm you, just wondering. if you hit it and it's all consensual, but the next day they be like, no, nah, I didn't like that. They can do that, bro. But that's what I'm saying, though, bro. That, that's they what can I, do that. That's what I feel what happened with Kobe. That's what I feel exactly what happened with Kobe. The chick thought she was going to be something more... Then what it was? Oh, oh, oh! What that was? Your, I'm. What you mean? You not gonna call me? Oh, for real? Bet. Yeah. Nine one one. Yep. Yep. Guess what happened? They can do it, bro. That's that's why you got to When you when you at that level, you got to tread. You got to tread cold, right. Though, I don't know bro, it like, is. It is a cold world. But that still don't benefit you though. What do you, what do you win out of that? I'm just trying to figure out what do the money. money how do you get money out of that? Payout. How is it a payout? If it go to trial, I ain't got to pay you nothing. Shit. That's if you win. But then if they prove it, like, how, that's my whole thing. Like, Cassie just did it. That's different. He paid her. I, that's the quickest payout I've ever seen. You might as well have said I did it. He wanted it to be over. Yeah. Once the whistle is blown, <laughs> that sound <laughs> echoes, brother. There's no, there's no, oh, it's done. Oh, yeah, let me just put the top back on this. No, it's over with. Yeah, no, I think it's a rap for Diddy. Pandora, once yeah. you open Pandora's I think, box. I think Diddy might be the closest thing we get after R. Kelly. He might, he might, he oh, might get. he topped, R. Kelly looks like a saint compared to Diddy. Yeah, I mean. The shit that they say Diddy did, R. Kelly was just grooming. Yeah. At the end of the day, he was grooming. This dude's out here now, 25, still going to high school, picking up girls from high school. Facts. Why they ain't locked up? That, that's what world. I'm saying, it's bro. I'm just like, world. but did he? That man was he a got too much. He got too, much, he got too much money. They saw what happened. When, you know, people see what happened when you do that payout. And if something did happen, now is their time. They got it. They gonna have to speak up. Just get they, she got get cashed there. out, boy. Yeah, instantly. Immediately. 30 mil But people were saying It is hella funny though That like as soon as she left Diddy She got married Had a kid Like She had a normal life Basically But 
hearing all the stories from all the other celebrities that was surrounding him, especially the Fifty Cent, it makes you pit, you shot, pit thing in I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. If like he be like, you take me like. Where we going? <laughs> It'll be we like going to Cool Kicks. Wait, who said? Somebody said it hella, hella funny. Like we going shopping. All right, all right, cool. I want this, this, this. Oh yeah, can you go to that store over there for me? As soon as she turn around, <laughs> out of there, bro. Get up out of there. Cash me out for sure. But I ain't about to. You know what I mean? I ain't about to stick around because I don't know what's happening after. <laughs> I'm gone. It's gonna be to the sun. It's gonna be at the hey, top. Bro. It's gonna be 12 noon have, when I get out of there. Have you peeped how quiet Young Miami has been? We haven't heard. You said something the last time. You was like, did you you think the same thing? I said, I'm pretty sure. If, if I'm pretty sure because at the end of the day, you got to. It's more popular now to sign the NDAs. She might not be able to say nothing, bro. You said it last time. I'm like, bro, I'm almost sure. No, nah, but I'm saying it's been like. Like radio silence, like nothing at all. That, um, not even, not even her doing her own thing. I haven't like typically, you know, you see her pop up on the shade room or Hollywood. Yeah, I think she got a podcast, thing. right? I heard she had I a podcast. Ain't seen nothing, brother. Okay, yeah, I'm. A, uh, I, yeah, I, I ain't seen nothing either. So it's playing a quiet game. You she think could, she gonna stay with you? I don't know if she might not have a choice <laughs> if he go down, <laughs> but at the same time. People can't pin on that mask You know what I'm saying Like We know it the best It's some girls You can do certain things with And certain girls You can't do certain things with You can get You can get active with this one But you gotta be more You know Nice to this one So That's a real thing too He might have He might not be treating it she, She's from the hood Apparently I don't think Cassie Is from the hood bro I think Diddy was more so Of a hood type figure Compared to her You know what I mean so it all depends on the person at the end of the day. I don't think I'll go ahead and say it. If either she signed the NDA or she just wasn't going for none of that. Same with J Lo. Either signed the NDA or she wasn't going for none of that. Cause the things that he doing ain't just pop out of nowhere. This is this is yeah. how he is. So that's so that so that, that flows it back. So like this this dug up a lot of shit. On Diddy, like I just been hearing, you know, you hear people start no, it's talking. Hell of people coming so out. People thinking, shit. people think he killed Kim Porter. People think he had something to do with I'll be sure his death. And people then they brought up a pretty good point, bro. Everybody, where's everybody that that was on Bad Boy? They either dead or unheard of. Mm-hmm. Even though that's kind of um, weird, bro. That's I ain't gonna lie. That's that's kind of weird. Even the making a band, people. Where they at? Where Danity <laughs> Kane at? Yeah, exactly. And a lot of them actually been coming out saying some things too. That's what I'm saying, bro. So it's like I don't know, bro. People get, I guess, like you said, bruh. some money change certain people. It, it I won't say a, it give them a certain persona it, or ego. I would say this though too. It, it can change you and amplify your desires. Like if you always like this type of thing, now you got the money to prey on that thing. But I'm like, what kind of weirdo are you to like? That's your desire, like, oh yeah, I want to watch this girl lay down and have relations with all these. Bro, people. that's not that's not a. I don't my kind of desire. Yeah, let me get this it's people at Airbnb on the beach. Bro, take is, all my homies' private jet bottles. It's people you, out you there. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's my kind of desire. I, bro. I, I'm, I, we live, we from the hood. We've seen some crazy shit. I have, we have. And I'll say this: it's been niggas out here that's been getting pearl for a long time. And I'm talking about anywhere they can get it, they getting it. I know one person, one individual that who this. We'll talk about it afterwards. I'll bring up. You probably can guess who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say no names. Tall. Yep. <laughs> but he been getting it in so long. The nigga, I don't know if if he's always been this way, but the curiosity started to blossom. Like, huh? I wonder what that's like. I wonder was what if I do this? <laughs> I I know him. I know, bro. It's, it's it's a real thing. And I and I kind of I'm like, bro. You like you getting it in on the bar train? You getting it in before school, after school, in somebody else's car? Like anywhere you can get it. You're going to do it, bro. Like it's 
it's almost a little bit disturbing. Like you cannot not fuck something. <laughs> so, but at the point when you do it so much, you start getting kid. It's, it's, it's a real thing because, like I said, he's not the, he's not a, he's not a freak. I mean, like a freak accident. He that, that's not the only person that has happened to. People experience too much at a young age, and they oversaturate it to the point where it's not satisfying no more. They gotta amp it up. You gotta keep going higher. Like, oh well. What's the, what's the next stage? How higher can I get? See, and I that's why I always called bullshit when they was like, oh, weed is a gateway drug. I have never in my life wanted to do anything else. Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 not with weed, no. But I'm just sex, saying, you let sex is different. But how, bro? So, like, so, like, take it like this. I had a partner tell me some shit, like, bro, I'm not getting high no more. You need to stop smoking then. Stop smoking weed for cleanse yourself. Go work out, run for a good month or two. Let clear your lungs out, then come back. That's what I would have did. Mm-hmm. No, he decided. Let me go try crack. Yeah, that that I don't see how <laughs> that adds up. But then again, some people don't process shit the same. Me personally, but I hate how people say you'll never be as high as you was your first time. That's a motherfucking lie. I have been higher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, what do you mean? Are you for kidding sure. me? Like, and I, bro, I've never wanted to do anything else. And so I, that's why I'm like, I just, I don't get that. So just, I'm like, and I don't care, bro, I've, 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 I've stamped a lot of stuff in my life and never, not once have I ever been like, uh, this don't feel good no more. Let me amp it up. Yeah, I mean me either. Thank and thank God, but I definitely I'm know. I'm just saying, bro. Like you can do something so much, you'll start to desensitize from it. And it, like I said, you're gonna need that next little. Either you can do what you said, take a break. Which if you don't take a break, at that point you're addicted. You can't take a break, and so instead of taking a break, you gotta find something to amp it up. The next thing, and that goes with sex and drugs. A normal person would do what you said. I'm gonna take a break. And an addict, they have sex. You know, sex addict is a thing, right? Yeah, nympho, <laughs> okay. maniac. And you have drug addicts. You know what I'm saying? Alcoholism, all that shit, all that shit, bro. But bro, realistically, it's like how many how many times in a day can you bust before it? It hurts. It's a muscle at the end of the day. If you overwork your muscle. It, you're gonna be hurting I'm sorry to tell you that brother But look If you do that every day That muscle can get stronger <laughs> You can You can play yourself Like I said I know somebody personally Who it happened to him And it's a very unfortunate story bro It's crazy You know, this, you know the person too bro I'm pretty I have I'm about 98% sure I know exactly you know who, who I'm talking about, about bro. Uh-huh. <laughs> now, he was my boy <laughs> and so just to see that man spiral like he did was insane but we gonna we gonna leave that there man um we're not gonna try to hold y'all too much longer uh just to give y'all a heads up we got uh Wonka is technically supposed to be this week I might be over to see it Tomorrow and have a review out this weekend. We'll we'll see what's up. If not, we'll have it next week. But uh, next week is the Christmas special, so come prepare, man. Uh, we're gonna have some. We're gonna have part two of the shoes. I'm gonna have some Christmas themed joints popping off. Stack's gonna bring some Christmas things popping off too. I think my man Al Banger should be back at that time, and we will get it in. Um, Make sure y'all do us this favor and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course, hit that notification bell. So you will be, you know, aware of when we're dropping new shit, new clips here and there. You know, be up on game and definitely follow follow us on those socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, I'll have it pulled up um, in the intro. So, you know. Just do us this favor, man. Get us popping. We had 312 subscribers. Still trying to hit that 500 <laughs> <laughs> before the year is up. We got like 20 days, man. We can do it. Come uh, on, no, y'all. Come on. Help us we out. We got it. We on our way. But um, we appreciate you guys for coming through. Uh, it's always been real with the Real Squad. We always going to keep it real. Make sure y'all be real. And we will see y'all next week for the Christmas special. 
We are out. Peace.